One of the aspects that defines the public art initiative is collaboration. And, you know, during this period of time where our own museum is in the process of, of building new space, we looked at other cultural institutions uh, around the region to partner with. And we had the great pleasure of being able to partner with the Darwin Martin House. We love the opportunity to work with the Albright Knox as two of the major cultural institutions in Buffalo. And we think that this beautiful art exhibit is a wonderful opportunity for citizens of Western New York and anyone who's here visiting to see some phenomenal art in an outdoor setting. Art and architecture together and the design influence of Frank Lloyd Wright and June Koneko make a wonderful pairing. This is a space that is unlike anywhere else in the region and not the least of which because they had just undergone a major renovation to their landscaping but the architecture there is impeccable it's one of it's a Frank Lloyd Wright masterpiece. Frank Lloyd Wright was inspired by the Japanese design aesthetic he actually traveled to Japan during the original construction of the Martin House estate and started bringing back with him ideas thoughts even Japanese woodblock prints that were now housed in the Martin House much like June Kaneko, Frank Lloyd Wright believed in the value of space as opposed to the solids. He had an interesting theory that in his buildings, the voids were as important as the solids. He said that the reality of a building lies in the spaces within, not in the walls that contain it. A strong reverence for the connection to nature, a strong reverence for Japanese design principles, suggests that Frank Lloyd Wright and June Kaneko have a lot in common. June Kaneko is a Japanese-born artist. He's living and working in the United States now, but of course is kind of steeped in that same kind of Japanese philosophy. And he does talk a lot about the way in which his works, whether they're abstract or figurative, they're all abstract at the Martin House, whether or not they have the right kind of relationship between the space of, of lines and dots and mark making. And, and he's really conscious about the way in which we relate to those objects. And, and one of the ways that you relate to these objects is by scale. These are some of the single largest uh, fired ceramic objects in the world. There are works there at the Martin House that are north of 12 feet tall, that weigh in excess of 7,000 pounds, that took giant cranes and multiple hands to move. And so it was, a, it was quite an endeavor, uh, especially when you're working on a, a historic site. You wanna be respectful to that landscape and you wanna be mindful that you're kind of, you're now creating a new dialogue. You're creating a new partnership and you want that to be something that is overall generative, something that is, is generous for the viewers, that still talks about the artwork itself, doesn't interrupt the architecture, puts those things in dialogue, gives people the chance to come again and again. So many people have visited the Martin House to see the Kaneko sculptures and the overarching uh, response has been extremely positive. People love the designs, they love the size, the scale, the scope. They like the idea that they're set among these beautiful landscape gardens. It's a wonderful experience for people of any age, any, um, any background, it's just a very welcoming exhibit you get a great amount of space to see the scale at a distance, to discover that, that, that scale up close. They, they shift, there's all these kind of details that you discover when you get close to them. And so when you see people kind of having that relationship where this house is really part of the Parkside neighborhood. It really is part, uh, it's, a, it's a neighbor uh, in that neighborhood. And, and, and seeing people use that space kind of naturally, even when there was this, this period of time that was very difficult for a lot of people where embracing cultural activity was a real challenge, a real unknown even. And so when we could use a space that, that gave us that much physical space to, to operate, with objects of scale and to do so safely and responsibly in that community was really rewarding. And then, and then seeing people kind of come again and again and discover it and say thank you is of course, you know, a great reward.